So this week, Obama kind of endorsed Young Jeezy. The last time he endorsed a rapper, it was common, and it kind of had a huge backlash. Kanye's not going to vote for Barack just based off the taxes. Kanye is going to vote for Barack because if he doesn't, he'll look like an even bigger asshole. But no one's going to really know who he is voting for. You're not in the booth. <laughs> when it comes to Barack Obama, here's my thing. Would you rather have him or Republican? It's either him and the other guy. Now, if you're choosing between the lesser of two evils, in my opinion, I'm just going to go with Barack. It's the devil I know. Things haven't necessarily gotten worse since he went into office. Do I think there's safer rappers he could have picked other than Jeezy? Absolutely, B. I mean, are you serious? You see the dirt they dug up on Common, and that was like, that took like two days. They didn't 100% improve all the way around, but at least shit stopped going like this for a second. I'm cool with the leveling out. If you give me a chance to climb out of the hole, I'll appreciate you way more than if you keep kicking dirt on me while I'm in there. Make no mistake, I'm not saying that hip hop won't vote or support Barack. Because I'm they will. saying they absolutely will. We will. But I'm saying I appreciate the idea that he is going to have to work harder. He's not taking our vote for granted. He's not saying, yo, I already got them. I can overlook them. No, he knows he's, he's gonna have to work to keep us just like everybody else. I, I, I don't know. I think he kind of is saying that I already got this. He picked Jeezy obviously for the Black President song. Shout out to the business. I think that in terms of just a more friendly rapper, obviously he could have picked a bunch of people. I mean, B.O.B. is incredibly friendly. No, he's saying I still see you and I still value you. And then even acknowledging that he does see the hip hop community, he loses a lot of votes on the other side if you think about it. Because there's a whole bunch of people that are probably upset. Like, oh, look at the representative of our nation is supporting this gangster rap stuff. So in support of our community, he's losing the support of a whole nother side. I commend you, Mr. President. I think it's interesting that he did choose that Jeezy plug instead of a more friendly like commercial Jay. rapper. Who could he name? What do you Who's mean? Like Common. <laughs> But after all that drama, I rest. Nah, I rest my case. Common wore crochet pants. You can't hold a gun with crochet pants. Like you, you just can't, how you how you gonna do that? It's just gonna fall through one of the holes. Common is pretty much the safest person he can name. You can't really say Common got beef with Maya Angelou. Common ain't safe. Common is super safe. Common is not. compared to Jeezy, everybody is safe. Jeezy just had a whole movie with him holding two guns throughout every fucking scene there was. Like Jeezy is the safest dude there is. Jeezy was a movie. It was his own thing. So Super this week, wow. <laughs> With the addition of Jeezy, there's too many real niggas in Obama's camp now. You got Michelle, the six foot four bodybuilder from Chicago, and you got Jeezy, who at any given point was getting it for 17.5 and runs around with a Chevrolet full of guns. It doesn't feel right without Lowe. We need the uneducated American public here. Lowe is not in Lowe this debate be because legally because he's is not, not allowed to vote, voter. so he thought that this would be awkward. If Jeezy performed at the White House, it'll be a little bit you know, more backlash. I mean, the cosign was, you know, I think it was more just like he was making a joke. Like, he went from the extreme from Al Green to Jeezy. It's not mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm gonna have Jeezy perform, you know, when I take my second term on again. I mean, it's great to hear your name come out the president's mouth. I mean, we can't say that for Kanye because, you know, you call him a talented jackass, but that's a different story. I'm not voting because I just got off the boat, guys. I learned English really fast with Rosetta Stone. Though, right, for real? <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's take Val to register to vote. Last time I voted, guy I voted for won and didn't win. Wait, you what? didn't vote last time? I didn't vote for that? Obama. You didn't vote since Gore. Yep. How do you vote? I'm 25 years old. My I just think the impression he was supposed to make on the community to me, it oh, yeah. like yeah, scared yeah, me the other way. Okay, well, we all kind of ran with Gore on now. Uh, listen, I just, I'm kind of anti-Republican. I don't have the money to be a Republican. That's why I can't really fuck. And if you did? Unless it's- Would unless you Jay-Z it? If you did, would you still run with Obama you know if your what? tax bracket was you, Bush? You, you never know until you you're cashing those kind of checks. I can sit here and tell you all kinds of stuff about what I would do if I was making that kind of money or how I would spend it and blah, 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 blah. You never know so you're making those kind of checks. I, I will say for myself, I would not see myself as a part of the Republican Party, not just because of money, but also because of sense of community and also what their values are. The core values are very different from me as a person and I don't see myself changing that because I'm cashing a higher check. But I would love to see Jeezy performing on the green lawn of the White House or something like that, like during the summer, like July 4th, like that would be dope. I'm gonna be a realist on this one, no. 
I don't see it happening. So it seems like everyone's in support or on the same mindset thinking that Obama does need the support of the hip hop community. Jazz even mentioned that she thought um, it was a good thing that he still feels like he needs our vote. I was kidding about not voting this time, but I didn't vote last time. I really didn't. I was very discouraged by the Al Gore thing. <laughs>